All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the next installment of Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Uh, today, we're going to continue our discussion, um, moving our way through the overhead panel. Um, so to start off, uh, just didn't want to leave a couple things out as we, we kind of go down the left side here. Um, below the uh, cockpit door uh, control panel here that we talked about last time, there's just a few things that, uh, simple as they are, you might be wondering um, what they are. Um, and that is um, these little guys here on the left. Um, this right here, all this is is a reading light. And there's a little dimmer uh, switch right here that you can use to control the brightness of it or, or uh, turn it off completely. And this is pretty much dedicated um, for the uh, observer seat that we talked about in uh, one of the first episodes there. So in other words, the, the uh, person sitting behind um, the, the captain's seat uh, potentially you know, might need to use a light to read something or, or uh, what have you. Um, Moving down from there, um, once again, pretty simple. These are just gasper valves. So, um, you know, kind of like the exact same thing that the passengers have in the, in the back of the aircraft, like above the overhead uh, area where the uh, passenger seats are anyways, you know, you have this little air vent that if you twist it left and right, it just kind of uh, meters or turns off the airflow. So you can kind of angle them around and, and uh, point them uh, wherever you need to or, or cut them off altogether. Um, but uh, let's get into the main uh, topic of discussion for today, and that is the circuit breaker portion of the overhead panel here. Um, so, you know, once again, I think that you know the, the common uh, thing I, I I see people, you know, when they come into the flight deck and they they look up and they, you know, once again, kind of that overwhelmed feeling of like, you know, wow, what what the heck do all those things do? Um, a lot of people ask us the question like, wow, you know, do you, do you memorize like each and every one of these buttons up here? And the answer to that is actually no. Um, we are not, um, you, know, you know, trained or, or required to remember, you know, each and every one of these individual things, you know, what they do and where exactly they are. Um, you know, of course, we need to know, you know, generally, you know, some, some things about them. But every single one of these things, they're, they're labeled, um, you know, by aircraft system. And, and of course, like the specific name of, of, you know, what system they tie into. And any time that we are referencing the circuit breaker panels, it's always either at the direction of maintenance control, or it is uh, prescribed in, you know, one of the, the uh, flight manuals that we have, or the quick reference handbook or whatever, if we're troubleshooting a problem. So um, one other thing to take notice as we look at this is, um, on the left side here and on the bottom, um, you know, going left to right, you kind of have this grid system set up. So you have a, a letter and you have a number. And once again, this, this makes it really easy if the book were to tell you, you know, hey, go and pull the C8 circuit breaker that's labeled such and such. Um, you know, you would be able to quickly, you know, find that place on the overhead and uh, pull the circuit breaker or reset it or whatever you have to do. So. Um, you know, we're, we're not uh, quite that smart. You know, we might be smart up there, but, um, you know, we, we don't have all these committed to memory exactly, you know, where, where everything is or, or what have you. So um, that's just one thing to understand about uh, the circuit breaker uh, panel itself. Um, if you're wondering, you know, what are these circuit breakers for in the first place? That's a good question. Um, you know, circuit breaker, um, you know, a lot like you, know, you might have a breaker in your, your house is there just to kind of protect um, the integrity or, or maybe some components, you know, that are that are hooked into this network of an electrical system that you have in the aircraft. So um, if for some reason there was a fault or a, an over voltage situation or, or something just not operating properly, the circuit breaker is designed to trip before um, you know, maybe maybe too much uh, dosage of power, so to speak, goes to the individual component and maybe damages it. Or um, if there was, um, you know, an overcurrent or something, you know, the, these things can heat up. And uh, of course, that's a big fire hazard. So that's another reason, you know, you might, um, you know, you, you want to have the circuit breakers there anyways. Uh, so, you know, we'll just think of it as, as kind of a, uh, it, it's the airplane's way of protecting itself, if you will. And, um, you know, a lot of times, um, circuit breakers they trip for whatever reason and once again at the direction of maintenance control or at the direction of, of uh, you know uh, the, some procedure that's prescribed in a, in a document somewhere you know we'll actually go in and reset these uh, but some kind of general um, you know uh, means of operation or whatever you want to say is that you know for the most part most of these circuit breakers I mean, we were kind of taught that if they trip once you can have you know one reset uh, but if it trips again, you know, kind of the idea is, you know, hey, stop messing with it. Um, you know, there, there's probably like a more serious problem like going on underneath there. So if you were to, you know, keep pressing it uh, back in as it trips, you're just kind of, you know, you're, you're taking away the job that the thing is doing for you. In, in other words, keeping you safe or uh, maybe keeping a fire from starting or something like that. So 
Uh, that's kind of you know a general um, rule of thumb that you know we use. And and once again too, I, I, you, you probably got the concept now, but we're not just up there you know flipping these circuit breakers just because. I mean it's always at the um, you know at, at, at some sort of um, direction of something. So you're never really kind of up there guessing, and and uh, you know it's just kind of the way we interact with this panel up there. Um, a couple other interesting things I wanted to point out to you guys about the overhead uh, circuit breakers here is um, there's a color coding. So you see some of these, um, you know, circuit breakers are green, some are black. Um, you now, what that means on the Airbus anyways is the green circuit breakers are actually monitored by the ECAM. So the Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring System, we're, we'll talk about that in depth in a later episode, but it's basically a little screen, you know, kind of on the main uh, panel of the flight deck that um, you know would basically alert you and say, "Hey, you've got a you've got a circuit breaker tripped in your overhead," and it would kind of draw your attention around the other you know uh, uh, areas of the flight deck, and uh, it would alert you to that. Um, the black ones, though, they are not monitored, um, and uh, I, I'm not really honestly sure you know how Airbus determines you know which ones uh, specifically need to be monitored and which ones don't. Um, I would venture to guess that you know probably the green ones you know are probably more pertinent to more like serious situations that might be occurring on the aircraft and you know you need to have a more immediate uh, recognition that maybe one of these breakers just pop so um, that is uh, just one little um, you know uh, nuance about the color coding of the breakers um, there's one more color that you'll see on the circuit breakers and they don't appear on this this panel here they're only in one other spot in the aircraft but it's red um, and we'll we'll talk about those uh, when we get to it but um, one last thing to point out to you as well is this little white, um, this little white thing right here. Um, a lot of times you'll hear the term a, a collared circuit breaker, and what this what this is is um, this little plastic collar specifically that is put in place um, to to basically like lock out a system for whatever reason. So if maintenance needs to defer something or something's not working, and, and they just needed to kind of take it out of the the loop altogether and take away that possibility that the thing could accidentally be pushed in and, and reset. Um, you need to, um, like I said, lock it out in this case. And that's what we're talking about when you hear the term collared circuit breaker. So you'll you'll see this thing is permanently fixed in the, the out position, so to speak, by way of this little plastic collar here. Um, that's about it for the, uh, the circuit breakers. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and we'll, we'll talk to you soon.